Hola, estamos en DES 2019, la cita anual con la innovación y la transformación digital en la ciudad de Madrid. Y uno de los, de los segmentos del mercado que más se ha visto afectado por, por las nuevas tendencias y por la digitalización es el mundo del marketing. Y para, para ver cuáles son estas tendencias y qué cambios ha habido, eh, tenemos hoy con nosotros a Claire Solentrop, que nos va a explicar cuáles son esta, estos cambios y estos movimientos en el mercado. Eh, Claire, eh, hello, welcome and thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. The first question is about the, the actual trends in the marketing business. So, in regards to business marketing versus consumer marketing, uh, there are many similarities. I think the biggest trend that I'm most excited about right now um, is that marketing is becoming less and less responsible solely for acquiring new customers, and it's actually becoming more responsible for KPIs across the entire customer life cycle. Uh, and the reason for this is that With the move to digital, customers are more empowered than they've ever been before to be able to drive the buying process themselves. They can search, they can use review sites, they, the, uh, the business model switch um, from, uh, the business model switch to subscription makes it easier and easier for a customer to leave a software solution or, or, a, or a business solution when they're not happy. And so customers are really calling the shots and they're the ones who are, who are becoming more and more in control. And because of that, acquiring, or each customer that you acquire becomes that much more valuable to retain uh, over time. And therefore, marketing is becoming responsible not just for new customers, but also for increasing the value of every single customer and ensuring greater customer retention. So the gap between marketing and customer success or support is closing, um, which is creating some really, really interesting new ways of looking at the role of marketing in a department. Mm -hmm. What kind of uh, new scenarios is uh, open now with the digitalization of the, of the marketing? I think the biggest one is that we can measure more than we have ever been able to before with the move into digital. Uh, this is both a good thing because we can get much more intelligent about what we do with our marketing dollars. Uh, so for example, in the past when we might have known that attending a trade show or, or sponsoring, um, purchasing a booth at a trade show, we knew that it would generally lead to revenue. We can now track exactly how, exactly what kind of revenue we drove from it um, and whether it's worth investing in again or not. So we can make much better decisions about where to spend our marketing dollars. What makes, uh, the, I think the downside to this though is that it's also very hard to stay focused because we can measure so many things. Um, many times marketing decision makers will struggle to identify what is the appropriate KPI we should be focusing on. Um, so it's important not to get too overwhelmed with the amount of data that can be collected um, in this move to the digital world. Should we differ in the, the marketing oriented to uh, business to the marketing oriented to people, to users? Mm, that's a good question. I think at the very core, what they have in common, both, both consumer marketing and also marketing to business decision makers, at the, at the core, both, in both cases, you're marketing to a person. Right? You're marketing to a person who has emotions, who has other things going on in their life. And so whichever, whichever type of buyer you're marketing to, it's really important to remember that at the core of your strategy, you need to understand how that person makes their decisions. Uh, so the biggest difference in that becomes what types of channels and, and um, what types of messages you use to attract and convert a consumer versus a, a business buyer. So for example, if I wanted to sell you this bottle of water just to you, only you would be making the decision, right? But if I wanted to sell, if, let's pretend you were, um, let's pretend you were the um, head of HR or head of staff within a very, very large organization and I wanted to sell you dozens and dozens of cases of water, the decision process you would then make would be entirely different. You'd have to go through finance, you'd have to go through, through compliance, um, and so my marketing strategy there would need to be much more complicated to meet the needs of all of the buyers within that process. So at the end of the day, they're both, consumer marketing and business marketing, they're both about understanding how the person makes decisions, but in business marketing, you need to account for many, many more decision makers than in consumer marketing. 
And what's the last question is about this show. What do you think about this 2018? It's been fantastic. I, it's my first day here, so there's still lots to do and lots to see, but it's the most comprehensive. Uh, it is absolutely the most comprehensive event I've ever attended um, in regards to all things digital. So it's really been a good experience. Thank you for your time. I enjoyed the rest of the show. Absolutely.